Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the Lewis Gun versus the Lewis Gun. And what I mean by this is Battlefield 1's Lewis Gun versus Call of Duty World War 2's Lewis Gun. Now, this is a very interesting, just like, kind of comparison to the two, because they're very similar in both games. They both have the same amount of ammo, they both have the same amount of extended clip ammo, and they kind of have similar recoil patterns. However, the differences end there, because the Battlefield 1 Lewis gun shoots faster and does less damage per shot compared to COD World War 2's. COD World War 2's works more like an LMG, where the one in Battlefield 1 is kind of more in an assault rifle type weapon, and it does have a disadvantage where if you shoot it like con consistently for long enough, you have to pull it back and cool it down. Whereas in Call of World War II, you can empty an entire magazine without having to cool down your Lewis gun. Now, they have similar recoil, but because in Battlefield 1, the Lewis gun has more fire rate, it actually has more recoil than in Call of Duty World War II. Which is kind of an interesting concept, that they both have the same kind of pattern, but one is more recoil than the other. Now, in terms of customization, Obviously in Battlefield 1, there's just the three variants of the Lewis gun. They all have a bipod. One has extended mags, and one has a lens sight. And one also is lower weight, which is very important. We will get to that. On Battlefield, or in Call of Duty World War 2, you have the option to put it within any class you want. And in Battlefield 1, you just get support class, which is kind of good. And in Call of Duty World War 2, you got a bunch of attachments you can put on it. And you can put up to four, if you include the bipod, five attachments. Who texted me? Well, you can't really have five if you put on the bipod, because then you don't have infantry. But, it kind of evens out four attachments. You also get one perk, as in Battlefield 1, you get three perks with your Lewis gun. Very important thing is, in Battlefield 1, the Lewis gun does have bullet velocity and bullet drop, and if you shoot it fast enough, not all the bullets will aim where the iron sights are. In Call of Duty, it's basically a laser beam. But, in Call of Duty, the reload is much slower compared to the reload in Battlefield 1, even with sleight of hand. Now, in Call of Duty, if you mount your gun, you reload it a lot faster. But, your mounting in Call of Duty is limited. In Battlefield 1, you can pretty much mount the Lewis gun anywhere, and it will do it automatically for you. In Call of Duty, you have to mount it with a button, and you're stuck there until you unmount it, which means that in Battlefield 1, you can duck behind cover faster, where in Call of Duty, you're probably 99% of the time going to get sniped out. Now, with all of these comparisons, with all the Lewis gun comparisons, which game has a better Lewis gun? And I'm going to say that Battlefield 1 has a better Lewis gun than Call of Duty World War 2 for the fact that... The Lewis gun, you can not die as much with it. It is much more versatile. Even though it has less attachment types, it still gives you just enough to be as versatile as you want with the gun. It also, with the higher DPS and lower bullet, you know, bullet damage, you can still kill just as much as Call of Duty World War II. Now, I want to hear from you guys. Do you think my choice is good? Do you think it's wrong? Do you think Call of Duty did a better Lewis gun? Share that in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more of these videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.